have an FX impact here and I have an RTI priest over there. Both of them are fitted with an Athlon Helos scope 6 to 24 by 50 and a laser rangefinder mounted on the scope. Um, some of the difficulties I found, for instance, in the impact here, when fitting a bipod, there is not so much space, and actually the part of the bipod over here collides with the impact over there. The trigger on the impact is really good, so you can see the blade perfectly fits the shape of your finger and it's really wide but the trigger is not as good as on the Wildcat or on the FX Boss. The first stage of the impact trigger is pretty stiff and it's not tunable. The second stage is crisp but I would have preferred the first stage to be lighter. You can adjust the travel of the first stage but not the uh, tension. The impact is shooting uh, JSB exact 0.30. The priest is shooting JSB exact kings 0.25. The trigger on the priest is less wide as you can see so it fits your finger a little bit less good than the impact. The first stage however is really light and the second stage you can adjust and it's very crisp. The shroud on the FX Impact is uh, really good um, and the muzzle brake is very silent, especially for a 30 caliber air, air gun. Um, if we look at the priest over here, if I shoot it without this additional hugged silencer then it is actually louder than my 30 cal impact with this hugged silencer fitted uh, it is just as quiet the impact has a cheek piece which is actually hard plastic and feels quite nice to your cheek it also has a butt pad which is adjustable um, with this screw over here, you can move it up and down. And on the priest, there is no cheek well, but it is not uncomfortable by any means because of these large chamfers over here. The magazine can be fit slided in um, from this side or from the other side, depending on if you're shooting left or right handed. Um, your cheek, however, will be touching the magazine a little bit. The butt plate, as you can see, is just a metal plate. And I actually fitted a little bit of uh, tape over there. Um, just to not have that hard uh, metal impact on a, on a stone table. The impact comes with a 0.48 liters carbon fiber tank which is really light and the priest comes with a 350 cc aluminum tank um, you can retrofit uh, a carbon fiber tank which will actually improve the balance of this gun quite a lot the impact has two gauges the first gauge over here tells you the fill pressure of the bottle and the second gauge down below tells you the regulator pressure. Mine's set at around 150 bars for the 30 cal. On the priest there is only one gauge and it's fitted right there. Uh, and it tells you the fill pressure of the bottle. However, there is no gauge for the regulator pressure but this regulator is also set to 150 bars. The impact has um, side mounted Picatinny rails for accessories like a lamp on both sides of the gun. The priest 
it has 12 millimeter dovetail mounts on either side to mount additional extras. However, I think this is um, a bit cumbersome since um, all the rest of the gun there, over there, is all fitted with Picatinny rails. So I would have preferred to have seen uh, Picatinny also over there. The priest came with very rough edges at this location over there and this location over there. Um, it actually uh, put some scratches on my jacket and uh, it was very rough so I sanded them down a bit and made them black again. Uh, for the rest there are no rough surfaces and the finish on this gun is really really good as you can see. The fit on, of the impact is of course also really good uh, and I have no complaints whatsoever about this. The cocking lever on the FX impact is buttery smooth and is on the right hand side of the gun. Cocking the priest takes a little bit more effort as it's a straight pull and there is no lever or anything. But actually it also works fine, although the FX impact uh, cocking lever is more smooth. To take out the magazine out of the priest, you put the cocking lever in the rear position and lock it downwards like that. And then you're able to slide out the magazine like this. Filling up the magazine on the RTI, you just drop in a pellet like that. But then, you see, I cannot rotate it because the lip catches uh, the housing there. So you have to push it in a little bit deeper with another pellet like that. And then I can rotate it to the next slot and drop in another pellet. This one then, yeah, has, the process has to be repeated and I can move on like that. To take out the magazine on the impact, you also have to cock the lever backwards and then you can just slide out the magazine as such. To fill up the magazine of the impact, you have to rotate it like this and turn it around. Insert the first pellet with the skirt first. And hold your finger there and now you can start filling it from the front dropping in the pellets one by one like this both rifles can be decocked by holding the cocking lever and then pulling the trigger and letting go like this be sure that there is no pellet in your magazine while doing this because when you move the lever forward of course you will push in a pellet into the chamber and the same on the impact Voila. both rifles have AR-15 style grips the one on the priest the cutouts for your fingers they are not as deep as the one on the impact and the texture on the impact one is also different. Overall I prefer the one on the impact. The 30 caliber impact is a little bit longer than the priest as you can see. Even when the priest is fitted with the extra hugged silencer. If you take this off it's a, a, a lot smaller. The impact came in a gun case which is a hard shell case which I actually quite like but still I cannot use it because um, the bipod cannot fit here so I have to take off the bipod to put it in the case so I'm actually using another case the priest came in a cardboard box um, they do provide an optional hard case Similar to this style, but a little bit smaller. But since I fitted the Huggett silencer anyway, um, I won't be able to fit it in its original box. 
Um, this is just the muzzle brake bit um, that I unscrewed to fit the Huggett silencer and this is the Huggett silencer that you need. I'll be shooting this target at approximately 85 meters with both the priest and the impact. The priest is shooting at 263 meters per second which equates to about um, 57 joules and the impact is shooting at 254 meters per second in 0.30 cal um, which equates to about 94 joules. Well, here are the results compared to a 1 euro piece. This is the RTI Priest at 85 meters and this is the FX Impact at 85 meters. Both of these guns are still pretty new but I cleaned the barrels as I got them uh, and I shot approximately 100 uh, pellets through each one of them. The wind condition is really favorable there's hardly any wind at the moment. Filling the impact is quite cumbersome as it, you have to have the appropriate plug and you see there's very little sticking out here um, which makes it yeah, not easy to pull it out or to push it in. Filling up the priest is a lot more straightforward as the quick disconnect is very accessible. I'm going to reshoot the groups, this time holding the butt pad of the gun um, right uh, against my shoulder because with the scope, scope, scope cam on uh, I was not able to do that, which yeah, I think is not the correct way of doing it. Alright, here are the results of the rifles both shouldered. This is the RTI Priest compared to a 1 euro piece, it's pretty good. And this is the FX Impact. Too bad there's one flyer here, 
but overall it looks pretty good. This one was just me pulling the shot too early. In conclusion, I would say that the priest is the better bang for the buck, but the impact is the overall better gun. But as it is double the price of the priest, yeah, you'll have to consider if it's worth it for you. Um, this, mainly the cocking is a lot smoother on the impact um, and the trigger is better.